You've been asked to death about the process of discovering Justin Bieber. So I'm just curious more, you know, what's the one thing you, you wish people ask you around that, that they don't? I wish they asked me how good he was and how good he is. Everyone knows now, but you can't create a Justin Bieber, you know, like you could market something and call it manure all you want. It's still shit at the end of the day. Justin Bieber was the most talented, gifted kid I'd ever met. It was so insane how great of a singer he was, how soulful he was, what he could do on the drums naturally, taught himself with guitar and drums. Like he was a phenomenon. And we met at the perfect time in both of our lives. Um, so I wish people would understand. I think we don't give credit to children enough. And now he's transcendent and become Justin Bieber, the iconic adult superstar. But he was brilliant at 13. You know, so I wish people asked me and gave him the credit he deserved as a child um, because he deserved it. There's no way I would have been able to achieve that with someone else. He was just that good. And, and I think he found me and our skills met each other perfectly and our relationship met perfectly. And we pushed each other and we didn't get it right all the time, but we found a way <laughs> and, and we've been on this amazing journey. And, you know, he made me a better man. You know, he was the first kid in my life, you know, and um, I, I wish people asked me that and understood, you know, they always used to say like, oh, this machine got behind this kid. I wish they asked me how much the label got behind us because it didn't happen. Even after I signed him, LA wanted to sign Justin because he wanted to sign Usher. Usher met Justin once before we had the meeting and told LA, we're working on this for a year. He'd only met him once. You know, um, we were grinding for a year and a half on our own. Usher was the right stamp and we were friends. LA was the right position, but we had to earn it. Tricky Stewart had Umbrella at the time with Rihanna. He was one of the biggest producers in the world. He and I had a really close friendship and he did the My World EP on spec as a favor to me because we didn't have an open budget. Ludacris got on Baby as a favor because I used to be his party promoter, you know, and we didn't have a budget to get any of this done. It was done through relationships and friendships and people's belief in this kid. They were seeing like, wow, he's special. And when we did that EP, it was right after Asher had done I Love College and everything else. And the only reason I had the money to even pay anybody spec money was because Asher wrote I Love College and that song exploded and we got a million dollar publishing deal for him. And the 15% commission, one, per, one manager took five, I took 10, $100,000 that saved my company. People understand I was broke at that point. My 13 months window of I'm gonna risk everything and sign these two artists, I was at month 11, I, I was done. I called, my dad called me to check in on me to say, how you doing? And I just out of nowhere broke down crying 11 o'clock at night. You know, I'm a failure. Everyone thinks in Atlanta, I've been killing it all these years. I've lost everything. My party promotion company's done. I got this Canadian kid and his mom living in a townhouse under my name with Aaron's rent furniture that I paid for. I'm paying for school. Like I got no more money after two months. I got Asher and his buddies living in another place in my name. Like I, I'm done. Like I, and he said, look, you haven't listened to anything we've told you. And you've always found a way. You got two more months, see it through. And the next day, Asher wrote, I love college. And I knew what to do. Hey, Founder Fam, did you love this interview? Well, if you did, then make sure to subscribe. We're dropping new interviews every single week. And we can't wait for you to join the journey. All right, we'll see you soon.